What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe YouTube video. Now today we're just doing a quick little pack opening of this Hoop Invader 10 pack that we get for doing the challenges. So we're going to go really quickly and have a look at what the challenges are. I think I should still be able to see them. Uh, yeah, here they are. So they were, you needed one steal and a block with a player. I got that. You needed three three-pointers uh, and shoot 100% in a game from three. You needed to score 10 points uh, in a game with the top of the class player three times. Get 10 steals over multiple games. That was the hardest one, actually. Uh, win five breakout games and uh, win a triple threat park or triple threat online game. Now, these challenges were easy, very simple. The hardest one, like I said, was to get 10 steals over multiple games, which was just literally playing and getting steals as you do normally. It took me maybe an hour, hour and a half. Uh, just to you know going through the menus and changing my players and I was doing it with like basic lineups because I'm doing other challenges as well but um, yeah so as I usually do I, I look and I ask is this worth your time uh, I definitely say this is worth your time because no matter what if you can get something for free from 2k you do it uh, obviously within reason if it's worth your time to do it and uh, this is definitely worth your time so Let's go over to the pack market, have a look at our unopened packs. So here is our 10 pack. We do still have all of these packs here that we need to open up. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few uh, normal drop packs like top of the class, uh, the greatest error, the full throttle. Uh, we've just got these over time as we've been doing these challenges, the one for the uh, to get the 92 plus pack. We've only got like 11 teams to go or 12 teams to go. so. We've got a lot, but we're, right now we're going to open up this Hoop Invader 10-pack box, see if we can get lucky and pull one of the diamond cards from this so we can complete that set. Uh, I, I probably will complete the set anyway just to get the, the 95 diamond, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got enough MT to do that, so we're going to do that. But right now, Hoop Invader 10-pack box, let's see if we can get lucky like we have for the rest of uh, the season so far, the rest of the year so far. So our first pack... Uh, we get an emerald, and it looks like two em emeralds. So a Jared Allen and a Draymond Green. Okay, that's that's one. That's that's, that's first pack. Second pack, we get a sapphire and an emerald. So an Omar Sheik, a Sheik, I think, and an OG and an Obi. So Omar is obviously from the set, so that's good. We don't have to worry about. We've got a shake. We've got a diamond. Let's go. We get a diamond from a free pack. A diamond from a free pack. That's what I'm talking about, man. I've I've had the tiniest luck. And if you don't, if you're not from Australia, tiniest means like you know the most like stupidest, the craziest. I've had some crazy luck. As long as it's not the card that we already have. As long as it's not the card that we already have, which we already have Thea Ratliff from uh, yeah Eastern Conference Defense. It might be Thea Ratliff. It is Thea Ratliff. Damn it, man. Damn it. But hey, I'm not going to like, you know, that's a, a free diamond card that we can put on the exchange or sell it for the MT. I would have much preferred to have a uh, different diamond. Obviously, not sell it to anyone, like just quick sell it. I mean, I would have preferred to have someone else, but hey, the free diamond card from the pack. But yeah, anyway, let's see if we can get any, get lucky on any of the other packs. So pack four is a sapphire which is Bimbo Coles, another Hoop Invader card, cool. We, the more we get, the better. Uh, any Anything else? Anything else? Not So we get another Sapphire here, and it is a De'Aaron Fox. Then we have an Emerald and a Gold card. Ivy's, Ives Mes Missy, I don't know who that is. I don't think I've ever heard of him. Uh, Scotty Barnes, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Let's see, pack seven. We get a Ruby. Is a Ruby set? No, Kawhi Leonard and Cam Whitmore. All right, then let's see here. Pack eight is always great, but not today. From the set? No, Kari Irving. Okay. Man, I really wanted a diamond um, that I didn't have already. Sapphire. Bam out of bio. Can we get lucky on our last pack? No. Okay, we get an emerald. We get an emerald. Is it from the set? No, manual quickly. Okay, so there we go. We've got all these cards here that we can send to exchanges or, or whatever. So this 
card will sell for a thousand. If I swap him from the collection, no need because they're both unsellable. Add to the exchange. Get us a hidden gems diamond card. So I don't, I don't see. It's probably worth doing that because over the time I might end up with. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. Add. Let's um. Let's just add. It. Yeah, we'll. We might end up doing that. But what is that for? Is that for a diamond? I don't know. Is that sure that's for a diamond card? No, I'm not going to send it there because I'm just going to sell it because I'm not sure what it's going to be used for. Although it's only a thousand, so yeah, let's add it to the exchange. Let's add it to the exchange. Hoop Invaders. There we go. One of five. So if you add five more diamonds there, uh, I don't know which one it is, but yeah, we'll add all these guys to the exchange as well. Because as you can see, we're just getting these uh, gems of the game cards we're at seven of uh, with this one it'll be seven of ten for an 87 plus now eight of ten for an 84 plus do we have any run in here we do so I've just been slowly adding cards here that I just didn't want to worry about selling all cards that I couldn't sell uh, just to get the extra cards but um, yeah, so yeah, we did get a diamond from the pack. I, I can't complain about that. Uh, I've, I know a lot of people that haven't had that kind of luck. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't use the diamond. I couldn't sell it. I added it to the exchange. So, so that's good. Uh, and we'll send all that to the auctions. And just sell that. That's nothing. That's just the injury cards. Um, no so what we want to do we want to go over to the exchange and i want to just see what that what i actually put him towards so it was the one of five hidden gems hit so it must be in this one. Oh, so they're all hoop invaders so i need to add four more hoop invader cards i wonder if there's any cheat ones for a diamond hidden gems pack so I could add another diamond, a Theoratl, if that won't really make my lineup and then see. I don't know. We'll work on that later. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I think the next one will probably be me completing the set. Um, let me just have a quick look while you guys are here. The Hoop Invader set. So we do already have three of the cards. I just need to pick up basically these four diamonds. What is Zach Levine going for? Zach Levine, obviously, pink diamond. So he's going for nearly a mil. Uh, I think he might be worth it running point guard, to be honest. Actually, I might actually try and get him right here. I might try and get him right here. So you guys can stay with me while we're doing this. I know uh, this is not what I normally do at the end of videos, but this one's finishing in a minute 50 seconds. So is he worth a mil? I don't know. I have looked at this card before. 92 three ball. Driving dunk. He doesn't really have any glaring, obvious issues. Um, good speed, good agility, good hustle, good strength. Good, oh, well, not good strength, but I think he'll be. I think he's going to be decent. I think he'll be decent. Thirteen Hall of Fame badges, twenty gold. I don't know if that's what he actually comes with. This one might have been badged out a little bit. I know that one there's got twenty-three badges and eleven there, but this one's got more Hall of Fame. So we are going to try and pick this one up. Uh, with one minute to go 800 so it will be about a mil to get this card I don't know if I want to do that a mil it'll leave me with 1.4 do we do it do we do it I think we do it I think we do it we just do it because these other cards here I think they're going to be fairly cheap um, I, th oh, I thought that would be a buy now to be honest a AI should be a buy now yeah AI is a buy now and it is for a 95 overall card. So let's just see if we do get lucky here. We've got 30, 35. I usually try to bid about the 20 second mark. Uh, that gives me enough time to see if my bid goes through and then raise it a little bit uh, if I need. If I can get this for under a mil, I'll be pretty happy. I'll be pretty happy. And yeah, like point guard Zach Levine, pink diamond. Uh, let's see if we can throw a bid on here. I've successfully bid. Now I wait 
Usually what I do is I wait till it's about five seconds and I just pop my bid up a little bit higher. So if somebody tries to outbid me, uh, and yeah, obviously they, they can't. So we'll just bid that. I successfully bid, so we should get that card. We should, we should get that card. Let's go back here to the market. Sorry, this video has gone way longer than I expected. I apologize, but that I just wanted you guys to be here with it, with me while that Zach Levine finished. So uh, the auction house outcomes did we win we did we got it okay so we'll get 32k back so i think it ended up selling for probably one uh, nine thirty ish 928 or something like that so but it is a zach levine card that we will lock in the set i know it's not the greatest set but um yeah we will lock it in with the other cards and finish that and get the do a dual pack opening for a 95 plus but Anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, hopefully you guys have good luck like I did. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.